Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy violin tutorial for When Doves Cry by the Late Prince on violin. This is kind of a tribute tutorial video for him and this is just the one piece that I've chosen. The link to download the free copy of the sheet music that I've done for you all is going to be linked directly underneath this video, so head there. I've also done an easy piano tutorial and that will be linked here, or if you're on a mobile device and you're not getting annotations, then the link to the easy piano tutorial will be underneath this video linked as well. So if you want to know how to play When Doves Cry by Prince on the violin, then download and grab your copy of the sheet music and let's get going. So as per usual, I'm just gonna quickly explain what I've done here with the music. So as you'll see that every single note has a finger number above it. When there's no finger, it just means obviously it's the same finger number if you've got there, obviously, because you can see it's the same note. And also you've got the strings above that as well. So this is gonna be open A, open A, open A, open A, one on the A string. This is all on the A string until you get told to change to the D string here. Then three on G, three on G, th sorry, three on D, th uh, one on D, three on D, so on and so forth. You keep going until you get told to change strings. So that's fairly simple. I'm just gonna take you through where to go and to and from in the song because there is a few repeats and things like that. So obviously you've got the introduction. Da, 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 da. I haven't bothered to put that in because that's obviously if you're gonna wait for that introduction if you're playing this with a backing track, it's in the same key as Prince originally sung it as well. So if you can get your so if you can get hold of a backing track, you'll be able to play along with, with that no problem. So after you've waited for the introduction to kick in, then you're gonna be playing all the way through from the beginning all the way through until you get to this this bar or measure here, 33, 34, 35. So the end of 36 where you've got a repeat sign there. What you're gonna do then is when you get to here, so from the beginning when you get to here, so I'm just waiting for it to go into focus, there we go. Then you're gonna go all the way back to the other repeat sign that you've got here in bar six, seven, eight at the start of bar nine. So then you're gonna carry on from bar nine all the way through. Then when you get to this point here, you're gonna jump over to the second time bar. And then when you get to the end of the second time bar, you're gonna jump over to here. So this is DS Alcoda. So DS is Dal Segno, which is this little kind of sign here, which I've just put in brackets to make it easier. So you're gonna go from the Dal Segno sign, which is up here at 17. So then you're gonna start back up here and play it all the way through until you get to here. And then, sorry, I just had to write that in. I forgot to put that in, but your copy will have it uh, properly printed in. So when you get to here, it says two coda. So you're gonna jump all the way down to there and play it through to the end. So I'm not gonna play this all the way through. I'm just gonna play a few little bits that I think are gonna be tricky. So to start off with. So the first thing that you come across is in one, two, three, four, where you've got the G sharp. So normally your Gs are gonna be here on the third finger dot that you've got there. When you're doing the G sharp, you're gonna be just slightly over the dot. That's all it needs to be. Alternatively, you can use a fourth finger for the G sharp. So you're playing loads of Gs with the third finger. The next bar, the very next bar, you've got a G sharp. So you could just pop the fourth finger in behind it and it'll be perfectly in tune because you can use this third finger as a, as a guide or as a marker. So just pop it in behind or you can slide your third finger up. I've just put a third finger up because I think that would just be the most intuitive for people, the, the most intuitive thing that people would go for. Um, and also just fourth fingers are just quite weak to use in that kind of instance. I would probably personally just use a third finger myself, but like I say, if you wanna use a four, absolutely. Um, so. I guess a four would be cleaner. It's just completely up to you. one there when you get to bar 12 is uh, a good a good case example where you can just pop the, the third finger just slightly above where the third fingers got to go um, again that, that's pretty much it going from 17 where you've got the little Dal Segno sign
So again, I just uh, I just slid my third finger up there to the just to to get a G sharp. Um, the only uh, most exciting thing is just the the last bar. Sorry, the last line from uh, one bit last line from the end. that but when you do the, the one on the E string your one needs to be all the way back here because it's an F natural normally we put a one where the dot is and that gives us an F sharp but it's got to be all the way back until you find the until you feel the little ridge it's called the nut so it's going to be all the way back here so that's kind of pretty much it. Uh, so it's a very quick and easy uh, tutorial in under 10 minutes. It's basically just using loads of open A's, loads of third fingers for the G's, just a, a touch of G sharp when you need to use it. There isn't actually any second fingers in there. The tune and the chorus are pretty much the same thing. So um, as far as simplicity goes, this is actually a really good one to do. It's another reason why I chose it. And also the just, be careful with the rhythm. Um, some of you might comment and say that the rhythm doesn't sound quite right, but again, I've simplified it. If I'd written this rhythm out exactly as Prince has uh, Prince sung it, it would be full of ties, um, notes going over bars. It would just be horrendous for everybody to read. It would be fine if you were an advanced musician or violinist like me, not a problem. But you guys, this is for simplicity and this is for ease. So what I would suggest you do with with the music is just um so use the notes that you see on the music as a kind of blueprint or a guide if you like and then just add ad lib um add uh, add your artistic license so as you know the words in your head and as you know the melody in, or tune in your head just play that as you would so you don't have to play exactly as I've written in the music, otherwise it's just going to sound. It's just going to sound a little bit wooden. So again, I couldn't write it exactly as written, but with pieces like these, you're supposed to just throw in a little bit uh, of, of how the song is. I think you guys get what I mean. So there we go, a nice, quick, simple, easy tutorial. Sorry there's no performance video on this this time. But hopefully that helps. Anyway, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.